Hello folks, welcome to my review of the Jewelip New Gen Two Slice Toaster, engineered and built in Great Britain. This is the box it comes in, nice and simple, elegant, and this is the toaster we're we'll replacing. The Morphe Richards, which as you can see from its temperature dial, has to be basically on full in order to work and toast with any level of brown. Let's go ahead and have a look inside here. So I got this from Jewelit's website as a refurb. Uh, makes it a lot cheaper, still 110 pounds mind you, or 105 pounds, sorry. But I think we can all agree it's very much worth it. As although they call it a refurb, it seems pretty brand new to me. Let's go ahead and get it right out of the box. So you get a pretty detailed manual in there, telling you everything about how to toast bagels, to how to place it and don't leave it turned on and all the standard stuff. You get your little uh, bit here of all the different things you'll make. A registration card, but obviously I'll be registering it online. So next, let's get the toaster out. Jewelit plug, very nice. Oh, I have to say, considering this is a refurbishment, I can really see no signs of usage. Except maybe a tiny bit of dust, but that may have come off the paper that it came with. Looks pretty perfect condition to me. Extremely reflective. Very nice indeed. Perhaps a slight bit of wear on there, maybe? Uh, it feels like maybe this was a display model or something like that. So you've got your one slice, two slice, or bagel slice. Got your timer, all your different settings on. Not plugged in, don't worry. And then it turns around and oh, I see a yeah. slight mark perhaps there. But it just wipes off. So, not sure if that's a packaging thing. I get the feeling this would have probably been in use somewhere in some big nice shop. as a refurb. As you can see the build quality on it is absolutely top notch and pretty much everything in this is fully replaceable including these special elements on the inside. It's a very cool design, very nice. It's both I'd say semi-futuristic but also very retro. Extremely reflective. I'm going to have a hard time keeping that clean. You have what's called the pop and peak function here. So when you push that down, it brings them up. So you can have a look before they pop, or before it finishes anyway. Very cool. You've got your crumb tray on the front. This is essential for me. Yeah, see, there's dust in there. So yeah, I really do think this has been an uh, X display unit or something like that. But yeah, this is on the front of the unit. I think that is essential. In all honesty, uh, when it's at the back of the unit, people probably won't actually ever clean it out. So let's go ahead and have a look at the back. Similar design on the back, very stylish, very simple. You can unscrew all of these bits and get into it yourself. Let's have a look on the oh, You can see it was made by a gentleman named Michael in the UK. Got to say, I'm a big fan of sort of locally made stuff. Stuff made in the UK, made to a good standard, and uh, cuts down on your carbon emissions and everything. And also means generally you get a better quality product, even if you have to pay a little bit more for it. It has an adjustable foot there as well, in case it's on a bit of an uneven surface. So that's quite I cool. I suppose the thing to do now is toast myself a bit of bread. So the bread is in, let's pop it down, and let's see how it does on two. I'm not going to make you uh, sit and wait through this. Actually, I just had a thought. I might want to put this into the wrong slot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just raise that bad boy up. Pop it into the left slot, which seems to be the one starting to get hot. So that was a bit of an embarrassing fail on my part. So it helps if I'm not a moron and forget to switch it on. So that's a little bit embarrassing for me. So this is about the level of toastage you get from setting it to two. So I would prefer a bit more toasted than that. So I'm gonna pop it in again, but just like up to there. 
Um, either way, that neon bulb doesn't flash like that. It's just on camera. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pop that on a little bit longer. And the thing is, you can pop it up and you can go, oh yeah, it needs more, and just pop it back down again. A simple mechanism as well, very reliable. So I know the some toasters have these me sort of um, uh, mechanised things where they, they a motor rises the toaster, and that, and that all sounds great. Um, but this is a catering grade piece of equipment, and as such, you need something that's simple and reliable, such as these knobs and dials on here. Now, something my lady and I like to do is try to test these things out usually before we buy them and see how they feel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the video as well. How they feel? Oh, that is heavy duty. Yeah, that is not a cheap mechanism, and neither is this. You can feel the quality of it, even something like this. There's a degree of heft to it, but you just don't get in cheaper sort of things, cheaper toasters and appliances. Also, even the paint is a very high quality, solid finish, really decent piece of equipment. So usually you can pick whatever you color you want with these things, and uh, they go for varying in color, means a variation in price of about 10 pounds normally. Uh, this one is a refurb, and I, like I said, I think it's been on a shop floor or something. And it's had a couple of little tiny knocks. There's a slight discoloration in the paint there. Um, although, now that I say that, I've just managed to wipe that off. So maybe it wasn't the discoloration in the paint. Um, if this has had any kind of use in the past, I can't really tell, to be honest. Uh, come well packaged, uh, it's a really decently built piece of machinery, uh, it's got replaceable elements in there, uh, the timers and such like are replaceable, so basically everything in this can be replaced and repaired. Refurb model like this right, retails for around £105 on Jewelit's website, uh, usually about 160, sorry, 155 to 170 dependent on uh, colour choice and whatnot, I guess the more they have of a certain colour, uh, the cheaper it is perhaps. You can get this in a three slot version, four slot, or I think all the way up to six slots, but then you're talking probably over 300 pounds, pretty expensive. But it's well worth it, it's made in the UK, solid bit of construction, that's a lovely thing to have in your kitchen, really nice to look at, really good solid build, and uh, really nice bit of toast. Get a bit of butter on that, and we'll be cooking on gas as they say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon, and uh, check out my Twitter as well. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.